Long-term flooding remains a concern in central U.S. as rivers continue to rise. While some rivers have crested, others continue to rise and may not crest until the middle to latter part of April over parts of the central United States. Snow from the winter has melted across much of the plains and Midwest. However, there, this map shows remaining snow cover and the amount of water locked up in the snow in inches. Office of Water Pro Rivers such as the Red River of the North and portions of the James and Mississippi have not yet crested with major flooding still to come over the next one to four weeks. At Huron, South Dakota, the James River is forecast to crest at major flood stage on April 5th or 6th. In Fargo, North Dakota, the Red River is forecast to crest near 35 feet around April 8th or 9th. Meanwhile, the Mississippi River at Rock Island, Illinois, is forecast to gradually crest at major flood stage during the second week of April. As of April 2nd, every point on the Mississippi River, along the borders of Iowa and Illinois, was either at major flood stage or expected to reach major flood stage over the next week. The crests assume no significant rainfall. Without any additional farther south along the Mississippi River, at and below the confluence of the Missouri River to the confluence of the Ohio River, water levels are forecast to crest at moderate flood stage over the next several days. Light to moderate rain has fallen on the Ohio River Basin and the Arkansas River Basin in recent weeks. This has had a positive effect against flooding on the lower Mississippi River and should help to mitigate an anticipated secondary rise due to melting snow over the northern tier over the next month or two. However, rivers and streams remain elevated and the ground is still wet. Should heavy rain, on one hand, rising temperatures, sunshine and lengthening daylight will help to increase evaporation rates. On the other hand, warmth and higher humidity levels will bring an increasing chance of thunderstorm downpours that can cause localized flooding. Large clusters of what is the outlook for rain? We This As a result, people should remain vigilant of the weather in the coming weeks. AccuWeather and its large team of meteorologists will sound the alert for flooding as far in advance as possible should the situation warrant. One such rainfall event that may stir some trouble in terms of urban and small stream flooding will be a storm that progresses eastward during Wednesday and Thursday. That storm may bring 1-2 inches of rain to portions of Nebraska, Iowa, Kansas and Missouri over a 12-36 to 36 hour period. Heavy to severe thunderstorms are forecast over the southern plains and part of the lower Mississippi Valley. To receive the latest forecast and flood advisories, search for location slash city.